even such things as the plants. You've got these beautiful trees. Trees need water in their leaves for photosynthesis. You've got to get the water from the roots up to the leaves. And a big tree in the middle of the summer will, gener will need about 100 gallons of water every day. Mm. How does it get all that water into the tree and up to the leaves? The first step is getting the water into the tree. Experiments have indicated that the roots of a tree do not have the capacity to pull that much water in. Huh. And so it, it turns out that there are microorganisms, specifically mycorrhizal fungi, that live in and out of the roots. If you saw the root of a plant, you'd see this fungus that penetrates the root and reaches out of it, and you think, oh no, you know, it's hurting the plant. But no, it isn't. It's actually sticking out of the plant to suck in water, pumps water into the plant, which supplies the water to the plant. Then when the plant makes sugars in its leaves and then sends that food back down to feed the roots, it also feeds the fungus. And so the fungus is watering the plant and the plant is feeding the fungus. Huh. And it's because fungi are designed, extraordinary designs to, they're very efficient at sucking things in, at sucking water in from their environment. Like lichens in the desert. The fungi that you see on the outside of rocks in the desert are capable of taking water out of the atmosphere when there's less than 10% humidity, pulling it in and creating a pool of water, if you wish, for the algae that's within the lichen. It's extraordinary. There, so there, there's yeah. all these relationships that you do not see that turn out to be necessary for the organisms you do see, the biomatrix of life.